four. Remember the Sabbath day and keep her holy. Oh, sorry, keep it holy. It's not Hugo Duncan writing the commands. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, right, Logos, keep her holy. Keep her holy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DJing them to the term tonight. And uh, are we allowed to talk about our big announcement yet, or will we wait? There will be a big announcement. Dun-dun. What do you think now? Did you say? Uh, what about if we announce in the bedroom? It probably will be announced by the time this comes out. Yeah, it'll be announced on Patreon. We're gonna do a big. Dance squad! He's on the big red bull. On the bull. That's a big one. Mm. 25 yoke. 25 yoke. Is that how much it costs or how much is in it? Nobody needs that much turning. No, he's got the bull spunk in him. Pipe plays the body in mind. Guys, welcome back to the Bomb Squad podcast, episode 16. Yes. He got it right. He 16. got the podcast name right. He got the number right. Stars of line. He switched on. He's full of touring. Uh, first and foremost, get yourself on to the Patreon. Yes. Uh, because uh, I do. But when is the live podcast going up? Oh, I Live, absolutely. Live podcast is going. Is that in place of a Patreon episode for this episode? I think uh, about the 1st of August. Or first week of August. First week of August, you'll get the live podcast that we recorded at Lavery's Comedy Club. Uh, but there's also. Jesus Christ, there are maybe 16 episodes up there also. Yeah. So get yourself on Fill your boots Patreon.com Forward slash Bob Squad Pod What a time we had What the a live podcast Oh the live podcast now What an crack experience You know There's always a, an hour before You you go on a live podcast Where I'm just like Why the fuck did, Why do we do this Yeah It's so hard mm-hmm. It's way harder than stand up It's not like yeah Stand up you just roll up there With your dick jokes and tell them You get a wee bit nervous Whatever But like the live podcast is like Jesus We're trying to do a different thing here we were blessed with the front row, though. We were hashtag blessed with the front row, uh, full of mentalists, mm. for want of a better term. Shout out to Liam. Um, yeah, so many of you chicken fillets. So, yeah, he goes, I deliver pork. Uh, so, but he, um, I mean, if you know one of those people you meet, you go, is this a real person? Yeah, he you know was a I mean? cartoon the guy, character. The guy looked like he played a sort of fun-loving serial killer. Yeah. You know, he had the serial killer glasses, worse than mine, which you pointed out. Check shirt, tucked in, jacket, and then he had a bomb squad hat on. Oh, you could talk down about your glasses from an optometrist? That's right. But uh, but listen, we won we won her over, didn't we? Yeah. See that number, thing says number one? Turn it up on me. I can't even hear myself fucking think. Uh, but she, yeah, she, I said something about my glasses, and she was like, they're fucking awful. Yeah. I work for Opta fucking scrotes in somewhere. Yeah, she shit all over spec savers too. And she was giving, oh, they always will. She was giving me shit that not everyone can pay fucking 300 pounds for a fucking appointment. Um, but uh, yeah, she was all like, "Your glasses are shite, and you should uh, call in, for, call in for free glasses and all." <laughs> and then at the end, I was trying, I was trying to explain to her, you know, I've got about nine pairs of glasses. She was like, "Me too, I'm, I'm sucker for glasses." Yeah, I was like, "Why are you giving me shit up front?" And you hadn't even heard, heard of this podcast. You're dragged here by the, you know, the partner. But that's always good though if you went over someone who's been dragged there. But we won her over, you know. At the end, she was like, "That was fantastic. Is there lovely boys and all?" Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, and then she gave me a wee white stick, and then I walked home just. Yeah, pretend I was blind, and I got I got gifted the first ever hat that's ever fit my fucking big head. Yeah, her partner actually got you a hat. What was the name of the company? Chatterheads. Yeah, Chatterheads. Yeah, yeah, fucking Chatterhead. Uh, yeah, it must have been fucking enormous if it fit you. Yeah, fifty liters. And, he, and he's like, I do have to apologize. But fifty liters? No, I just said that. Uh, like a fucking yeti cooler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is what they did have the wine in too. <coughs> yeah, that, yeah. He goes, I do have to apologize because I brought you a hat, but I've spilled red wine on it because it leaked out of the yeti. Baller. Yeah. Baller flax. Baller move. Does the Yeti keep the wine? Say the red wine was like room temp. Would it keep it room temp or does it make it colder? Or or does it only stay cold if it's been put in cold? You have one, yeah. I do. I just use it for juice. Oh, nice. (laughs) Diluting. Diluting. And sometimes an icy water. And uh, I don't know about you now, but I lose that Yeti twice on a daily basis. I don't know why I'm so bad. I should got I should got an orange one, or you got me that one. You should have bought me an orange one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I will>. <laughs> just one every year. I went to buy one, and whenever I was last in Austin, and then found out the price of it, and pretended like I was going to go get another bank card. I was like, "Fuck that!" I love the webs that you spend just instead of going. Nah, I'm all right. Yeah, 
you know, you'd be like, uh, I went to pay for it, realized it was a bit too expensive. So I ran into traffic yeah. and got hit by- I literally ran into traffic. I got hit by a moped so that I didn't have to pay. And be like, N- well, sh- you know, <laughs> I have a friend short and if he was ever going to buy something and it was like too expensive, he'd just go, nah, too there. <laughs> Yeah, that's just gone was like that's not do it here that's that's uh that's perfectly acceptable yeah you don't have to like like you'll be like oh it's a bit expensive and then you'll be like hello mom <laughs> you've been stopped oh jesus christ done it well and, uh, and then run away just make it a, like the stripper story yeah do you want a private dance no i'm only here because my fictional wife <laughs> broke up with me and we're in a custody battle over the children She's like, all right, you fucking weirdo. You know what I mean? Don't need a, don't need a novel. Yeah. Don't need an episode of Brookside. <laughs> As an excuse. Brookside. What's these shoes? 210 quid. Fake heart attack. <laughs> Ambulance and all arrive. Wasting everybody's time just so you don't have to fucking say, no, I'm okay, thanks. I tell you about the time my dad haggled like someone in the next shop because he just found out about haggling the week before. <laughs> Like eighteen, eighteen. You know the what do you call the market in London where everyone goes to Camden. Camden. And uh, he'd seen my brother for a bit of haggling for a pair of fake Dre Beats. And the following week in the night shop was doing the same thing. So you take you take a hundred from them, like yeah, in an outlet store where the guy doesn't give a flam fuck. Yeah, he was he was joking obviously, like, but I just thought it was so funny. You take a hundred for them. Yeah, them dunks. Take out your dear dad just walking around the Travis Scotts. Yeah, <laughs> you take a ton. Take a hundred. Sure, what's no skin off your dick? Uh, now, beats by fake beats by Dre. Pointless. Nothing. Pointless you, endeavor. You don't want that at all. You've basically got like a tier below Apple headphones that come off the phone. Yep. Over the top of your head. Like yeah. the, the, the inconvenience of overhead headphones has to be met by great sound quality. Otherwise, it's completely pointless. True. I hate wearing, I hate taking them about me, carting them about me. But it's worth it when that heavy bass hits you in the air. Oh, that's great. When that Frank Ocean hits you on the 273. I've also had AirPods and I don't like them. You see, there is a trade-off with the AirPods. Which is? They're handy as fuck. Like, they're small. They go yeah. on a wee thing. You pop them in your pocket. Don't notice anything. They are handy, for sure. The sound quality? Not amazing. No. But you don't have, yeah, you don't have to walk around like a fucking international DJ half yeah. the time. <laughs> And you don't walk around with them. You leave them in my car, you know, yeah. uh, every day of the week. Am I next to you fat to have the David Guetta hanging down look? So I just have to take them off my head. <laughs> you literally <laughs> have like Frankenstein bolts in your neck. It's just like hanging out the side. <laughs> I literally remember like forgetting that I had them on and having them around my neck and I looked uncomfortable. You're starting to go blue in the lips. Yeah. <laughs> you get some absolute wild ends who just walk around with them constantly. Oh, uh, yeah. It's too much. Big Dougars from Shine. Oh, yeah. Take them off, bro. You're in a restaurant. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. Walk around the cafe and you're like, he's about to do a fucking rap battle. What's your self-consciousness level of the hands-free phone call? Oh, it's gone a long time ago. Really? I, I, I just walk around the town on my phone all day. I would never do it. I think I would go phone to air every time. In LA, I remember a couple of times being like, is that person schizophrenic or are they just on a call? What was that video? Do you remember we made a vlog going to Dublin for Kill Tony? Uh-huh. And we pulled up at the lights and some girl was literally, she says it was way too much information. What was she saying? I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember either, but she looked like she was doing like a performance piece. Yeah. And she was just like on the phone. But she she didn't even, she wasn't even had headphones on her thing. She had the phone out here and was like screaming at it. Main character energy. I can't remember what she was saying. But it was way it was way too much to be even if it wasn't her business. Too much for the street. Too much for the streets. That's the name of the podcast. We're too much for the streets. Yeah. But the live podcast was good crack. Thanks to everyone who came out. We shifted some merch. Probably the rest that'll go online at some stage now, yes. Oh I oh, I get her on a Shopify to fuck. And it was great to put a face to a story too when the girl came down that you know her child took and oh, yeah, downloaded school. Yeah! Podcast podcast royalty, our girl Amy there. That was fantastic. If you remember a few episodes back, she was the girl, yeah, the, her kid took her fucking vibrator in the school. Um, yeah. She's not exactly subtle. She sent a message on Instagram. Oh, a follow-up it. message? Direct messages. Give her an early lead here. Hey, fellas, just wanted to say we had an unreal night at the live pod last night. Probably not my best idea to smoke a fat spliff in the break before getting called out for being a big pervert, yeah. but sure. I also feel like I should clarify that there's nothing too mental in the box, by the way. 
no traffic cones, horse cock dildos or any of that carry on, but I'll share this quote with you, which really speaks to me. That's your pussy. You can do what you want. Larry, June 2019. But yeah, I hope that fellow that was talking to Colin about watches at the end didn't melt you too much. Uh, <laughs> it's one way to stop me in my tracks. Watches? Aye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember but, one time in Edinburgh, you just watching like a video of a Japanese man talking about a watch. Fixing it, what, put, assembling a watch? Yeah. You know? With, Glued to With the wee rubber gloves and all, <laughs> just fucking... There's a problem. I had no no uh, responsibilities, no wife and child. Yeah. And then you realize how much time there is in a day. Yeah. That's what you're left All you motherfuckers sleeping in the two o'clock. I mean, he's watching some Japanese fella make a watch. <laughs> Internet completed it, mate. But yeah, if she was if she was spinning out of control with the old anxiety after smoking a fat dude. Oh, uh, the front row was not the place to be. And then all of us just talking about uh, what she's got in her puss. I remember smoking a joint before... You pig. I know, before you, before going to like, I think it was the Hollywood Improv one time and sitting right. in the front row with my mate Peter and getting spoke to by two different comedians and each time being like, you know, whenever you're like pretending not to be high, but you're so obvious. Yeah. I love how Lucy came bit when he's like, I think I'm going like this. Yeah. But I'm actually just going... <laughs> <laughs> you know that bit where he's like, he says he's driving he, it was like a rental car and he goes I just realised I hadn't looked forward in about 22 minutes <laughs> he's just fucking yeah, yeah hitting all the buttons it's fucking mental to be high and sit in the front row of a comedy show oh, what do you do for work yes yeah, what do you do for work please <laughs> but uh, live podcast is great some lunatics at it um, and it, what else happened that night nothing just chilling just fucking just chilling uh, just chilling just yeah, chilling nice good. time talking to the crowd you know shouting everyone after answered a few questions yeah your mom was like uh, he was like what watch should I get and then his mate was going like we really have to leave and he goes I was thinking of getting like a, what do you think like a tag and I was like get a tag if you want you know, I, don't, I don't give a fuck and then his mate was like we gotta go and he's like what, are you, what about a, what about like a sequel <laughs> well I got a sequel and the guy was like I have to get my bollocks scanned in the morning <laughs> First thing, can you hurry up, please? <laughs> and I was like, all right, fair, big man's getting the bag scanned. Yeah. You no get time your, for the watch chat? Did you get your bag scanned yet? No, I got it uh, rolled like a joint. Filtered? Really? Uh, yeah. Male or female doctor? Male. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, sir, I don't think your dick ever gets tinier than whenever the doctor's looking at it. Oh, yeah. Like, it sucked in, like, and I was like, he, he like... <laughs> He put me down the table, played some boys to men. And, uh, <laughs> no, he, wow. said, he said, sit down wow. the table there. Wow. Wow. And I sat down and he's like, like, I literally looked like I was using my V cards. He was like, all right, you know, pull your, pull your shorts down. And I was like, no bother. And then pull the boxers down. And then kind of like, I, I thought, it, you know, I was like, he's not going to need to see my pace. Like, so I just put my hand on my dick and he's like, take your hand away from your penis. And then I did. <laughs> and, he said and, so and, sexy. And there was like zero flop. It just sort of went sad. And then I could just, I could feel him in my balls, like it was, like he was rolling on sticky icky. Uh, sticky icky is right. Icky is right. Is that what he said? This is some of that real sticky icky icky. Ooh wee. Yeah. Stinks. Stinky. St stinky winky. Uh oh. Was he? Did you? Did you have Tell a? Lump, his reference. Did you have a lump in the bag? Did you? I will. You, you see, is it the bollock of the bag? No, it's the it's the bag. See, so you can get lumps on your bag all day. Yeah, but I was scared now. It's the bollock, you know. Like he's he's giving it the old, you know, like he's like he's found a gem at the beach, you know, like <laughs> around the actual nut. Uncut gem. Uncut gems. <laughs> it is. But the bag, the bag skin, sure, it could look like a pack, a, a bag of millions. He was fucking rough. With the <laughs> he was fucking rough with though. Well, he can't be, like, caressing it. I know, but I ain't getting misplaced a wire or something. I haven't been right since. I felt like my bag's been, like, disfigured. I was fucked up their ass today. I was just disfigured anyway. I know. <laughs> Do you ever, there was a famous, or uh, was a UFC fight where someone, I think it was, who was, like, a need in the bollocks? Leota Machida or something? And he just, like, stood there, jumping up and down, trying to, like, you know, like. Oh, yeah. Get, the, get them to fall back into yep. place. I get that. Have you ever twisted a bollock? You can twist a bollock. I've never twisted a bollock. I've sat in it a few times, uh, but never twisted it. That's a sad day. Oh, that's a, that'll fuck up your whole day. Aye. You know, people people worry about like, oh, I've turned 35 and I had a real low point or whatever. See the day you sit in your bollocks, you're like, well, that's it. They're never coming back now. Yeah. You get the Botox and the nuts. And there's a few things that will kind of reset you or bring you back to being straight humbled. Sitting in your bollocks, one of them. Being a fat guy as well and breaking a chair is one, you know. There's no sadder time. I mean, if, you sat, if you sat in a chair... 
sat down on your bollocks and went, oh, and then it broke. Uh, oh my God, kill yourself. Yeah, you immediately. <laughs> Straight into the river. <laughs> that happened in our school. One time, this, you know, larger boy. Uh-huh. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> in an RE class, went through a chair. And the teacher, you know, he's supposed to be all holy. He was like, uh, oh, too many Easter eggs at Easter. <laughs> Subtle Christian roasts. Yeah, Christian roasts. <laughs> Welcome back to Christian Roast. Your mother is so large. <laughs> the matriarch of your family is so large. <laughs> Too many Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. What did they roll your man in front of that tomb when Jesus was before he resurrected, didn't it? Take three days for you to raise you, fuck. <laughs> you could do me a couple of days on the cross. <laughs> right, CrossFit. Yeah, but- CrossFit. I <laughs> shot me in. <laughs> funny to have an RA teacher who was an absolute scumbag yeah. <laughs> teaching you the word of Christ. Oh, I say there's plenty. You know, yeah, like the guy t- the guy found God in jail. You yeah. know, and then he came out and he's all like fucking Here's a re- here's the fucking commandments. Yeah. I shall not steal gear off your mates. I shall not buck your fucking neighbor's wife. Yeah. Again, no I mean. <laughs> It shows you how many commandments I know. What's the rest of them? Oh, fuck no. I shall not commit, you know, cyber fraud. What is it? What, did you, what the fuck happened? Thank God I said Google. Uh, the town commandments. Hit me with the commandments. <laughs> we've, we've covered everything on podcasts. We're now on the Bible. It is coming up to the 12th, after all. Yeah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the fuck's Mickey Elliott? Oh, he's a reporter. My legs uh, are sweating, bro. That's how you know we're cooking now. Ten Commandments. First one's a heater. You shall not have other gods before me. Uh, uh, Drake Lair? No. <laughs> Jay-Z? Oh, my God. What the fuck flavor is that? Thou shall not make unto thee any graven images. Number three. Uh, thou shall not take the Lord's name in vain. Four. Remember the Sabbath day and keep her holy. Oh, sorry, keep it holy. It's not Hugo Duncan right in the commandments. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! Hey, Lucas, keep her holy! Keep her holy! <laughs> I'm DJing in the tomb tonight! Tomb Bridge! <laughs> <laughs> Do the rest. Start them again. Start them again like Hugo Duncan. Is Hugo Duncan not a family friend of yours? Oh, yeah, he's the man. Like. Uh. <laughs> Number one, you shall not have no God before me. Two, thou shall not make unto the engraven images. Three, thou shall not take the Lord's name in vain. Four, remember the Sabbath, keep her holy. Five, <laughs> honor your far and your more. <laughs> Six, <laughs> Six, thou shall not kill. God wants to protect human life. Seven, thou shall not commit adultery. What's this accent? He doesn't have that accent <laughs> at all. This, this Where's he from, Straban? Yeah. Oh, nice from Balamina, apparently. <laughs> this, this means husbands and wives should be faithful to one hour. Eight, thou shall not steal. That's an old cream bun. Nine, <laughs> thou shall not bear false witnesses. Steal a kiss off you. And ten, you, you shall not cave. Cave means to want something that belongs to someone else. Ah, okay. I thought you were speaking French there. Uh, thou shall not cave. <laughs> You've had a few pair of trainers, I'd cave. No bother. Hi, <laughs> I am next year recently, but lovely. I'm wearing them. Uh, fair play, that was nice. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Keep her holy. <laughs> Keep her <laughs> holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm faded. I'm faded um, off the bowl. Oh, what about us doing other side festival uh, at the weekend? Yeah, uh, we, we went down to time. other side festival. Uh, the comedy tent was run by our boys Demo and Eddie. Now let me tell you from something. Crack then. This man here, worst behaviour. Worst behavior. Day drunk. Dropped the mic on the stage. And I thought he was like doing it theatrically. And then I realized, oh, he's just pissed. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, shit, get us going deaf jam here. Yeah. No, I was just (laughs) fucking talking. I just went. (laughs) It was more of a mic slip than a mic drop. But it was. But here, uh, boys, it was you're great. on the Mayweather or comedy, you know what I mean? Oh, sir. I turned around to Simon man. I was like, are you going to invoice me for that? And then he was fucking. He, talk about faded. He just faded, <laughs> off, faded off the 44 degrees heat in the tent. Oh, it was toasty in there. Oh, Jesus. Well, but here, the boys did an absolute number on that. <sighs> I tell you one thing. Great crack. The boys did a number on it. You know, there was there was people out to see us. It was very I, fun. Which I wasn't expecting, you know, but, you know, there's, there's a load of ones uh, were cheering and fucking whooping and. 
chatting to us after and all that business and then you kind of you know because it's so nicely set up mm -hmm. you forget it as a festival yeah and then you know i'm on stage and you're like looking around scanning the crowd and people have face paint on they've got glitter in their tits you know mm -hmm. there's a guy passed out in the corner that guy you got a video of when i was on stage and he was sleeping oh yeah if i wasn't on stage that would be me yeah by the way if you take a look at that too he's wearing like a brown work jacket with shades on shirt underneath mm -hmm. just conked out yeah that's someone who's went long to a festival who's not used to it. Yeah. You know? Uh, he's a sprinter. He got, I'll tell you what, like, I mean, it's 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 a hack bit, but like, what is in day beer? Fucks you up. I could drink pints all bastard night, and you give me three in the sunshine, mm -hmm. and it's like I've shot fucking acid straight into my neck. I was, I was drunk, like. I was outer body floating. I was getting there by the time I got on stage. She sings that song, Floating. Schoolboy Q? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Flow in. <laughs> I, was, I was like getting there before and during my set. And then afterwards, when you went on, I got about three pints. Fuck me. And uh, it's like, we were in Apple Greens. And it's like, you know that meme where it's the guy in the corner of a party? And they're like, they have no idea. Um, and I, we were just in Apple Greens being like, they have no idea. We're fucked. <laughs> I think they did when you were standing at that Burger King machine, just going back and forward, not selecting anything. <laughs> Like a cat, you know when a cat's got like a laser? <laughs> Smashed. And then, uh, you know, we got there. Uh, by the way, they, like, this is a sort of festival. If you want to go to a festival and get the festival vibes, but you don't want to go to like Glastonbury, go there because it's nice. But also, it great. every security guard, we could have drove the car through the barriers the whole way up to the gig and just stopped outside. Yeah. You'd pull up and you'd be like, hey, uh, can you tell me where I put the, this nail bomb? And he'd be like, this is up, up there. So. Reception. Although McCarney was a goddamn superstar. McCarney, oh, yeah. McCarney was getting, he pulled up and he's like, I've got two artists here. <laughs> and the fella was like, oh, you're the boy from Enniskillen, aren't you? Getting selfies with him and all. And I was like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> this is backfired on me. It was a good time though. I it was enjoyed a good it. time. And, uh, I'd have stayed. I'd have went into that fucking rave forest wherever it was after. Yeah, I sort of, it's because you don't know what you're going into. You're like, I don't want to commit to staying at this or whatever. Yeah. But it would definitely stay next time. Yeah. And uh, we got there and uh, I did one of those, sure, I'll have a go shits, you know? You know, there's a toilet there. Never never pass up an opportunity to go to the toilet. So so much happened in the time that you went for that shit. Because I thought you were just going for a pish. How come I can take eight shites a day in my house? Ghost shites. And, you know, clean as a whistle. And then I save up the nine liters of Marmite for when I'm in a port a that's 48 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's the place to do it, though. The infinity wipe? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were doing rounds. It was like, it was as if you were trying to wipe a cow's arse. That's what it was like. There was literally, there was a. There wasn't enough bog roll in the county. There was a fellow that walked around, was like waiting. To go for a pish. And then he's like, is there someone in there? I was like, I made a bars in there. And he goes, right, no bar. And then he fucked off back to the reception bit. And he came back and he was like, he's still going. And I was like, I well, clear the out. Nah, the going was quick. The clean up. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of elbow space in there. Yeah. You know, you can't, you know, the fuck, you know what I mean? You can't move in it. So if you're a fucking thick gentleman. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they don't want to fucking touch anything. Nah. Biggest fear is, you know, you touch your cock end off something weird and then portally. Oh, yeah, I'd have my ass touch anything, but McGaugh can, though. No. Oh, yeah, you put your ass on, for, yeah, yeah. You could be shite on the seat, and you'll sit on it, like. Yeah. But uh, don't let the dick touch anything. <laughs> Type six. <laughs> it was, a, it probably was a six, you know. <laughs> Not liquidy? No? It started about a four. Right. Is that, I feel like I'm doing a weather forecast today. We start at a four and move swiftly into an abrupt seven, uh, which seems to be omnipresent. I had to just make the call. It's at a certain wipe. I was like, that's, that's enough. Have, that'll have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit in here all day. It'll be dark by the yeah. time I come out. Uh, and then oh, I took some pumping. You know that we pump with the blue shit in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It was like I was pumping up a fucking lorry tire. Bouncy castle? <laughs> just flat out. Your blew my shoulder out. What, did you have for breakfast that day? 
Uh, I don't think it was anything I had that day. It was pre- it was previous work. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> it was previous badness. A couple of three to four working day sheds. Uh, I don't know what it had. Fucking who knows? Who knows what it had? Take a look at this. But I haven't uh, had a shade like that in my house ever. Nah. You'd be kicked out. You'd be, <laughs> kicked, you'd be fucking out. Well, nah. I'd be shit, shit in my garage now. Oh, here. Is that toilet in your garage? Aye. I've never had a more open space shade in my life. It's it tremendous. was magic. We came, we, shout out to McCarney for driving, but we we came the whole way back to the house and, uh, you know, we talked about game. We're like, oh, we got fucking shit face. And we just sat around and talked about the relationships. Yeah. Drank beer. It was great. And uh, McCarney had something wrong with his eye, so he had this wee stinking hanky. That he kept pressing on his eye. So anytime you talked about anything serious, you were like, "You're right, bro." Yeah. Because he's just sitting there, like, just wiping his eye constantly. I know. Morning came in, had him straight away with it. You getting emotional? Yeah. And a slapper. <laughs> Show me a video, you motherfucker. I've got uh, McCann's oh. in the driving seat today. I've got a wee we're work. slowly but surely delegating a bit of responsibility to him because he's been here for 15 weeks now and he's finally he knows how to work the buttons. <laughs> I've got a work safety video here. I have no idea if it's any good, but sure, we'll see what happens. Graphic content. <laughs> Your hands. Uh. Sorry. I feel like even if you did have the hand cut off, you wouldn't react like us. <laughs> you wouldn't? Because I watched that Chinese video of the girl putting her arm in and it stamped her arm and she basically just had to wait till it was over and then it opened it and she went, ah, oh, fuck. Ah oh, fuck my arms the That's shape me armless. My, my arms the shape of the fucking front panel of a Nissan. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, my arms are bumper. <laughs> this is not a horror film. Oh Jesus, oh, Jesus bro. You racked the good gummies. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine. Like, surely they had a better budget than that. It oh, looks like a good budget. <laughs> I'm making this sexy love making music over yeah. the top of it. Who made this alchemist? <laughs> That is incredible. Unreal. Yeah! Just fingers hanging up. I, I I, mean, like, it would be the most annoying thing, and it happens all the time, for, like, somebody or for yourself to just die doing a shitty job. Have you ever been in an accident that wasn't your fault? I sounded like an advert Jesus there. Christ. <laughs> like, what can you offer me? Here at McCann and Sons, we'll get you nothing back, but you'll feel good, and the tunes are good. Do you like a nice coffee? Uh... At the very least, we're good company in the courtroom. Um, what was it ever been an accident? What? But any workplace accident as well? Not really workplace, no. no I've, I've had my fair share of injuries. Yeah. But not, not in a workplace. I haven't really worked in anywhere that dangerous. Yeah. The most, the most, I remember back when I used to fix pallets, you know? I would be left alone to like, just repair these pallets. I remember hitting the top of a nail. And the top of the nail broke off and went into my hand, like just went ding and shot it. It could have been my eye, you know, or something more dangerous, but it went into like the meat of my thumb and it was fucking aching. It was like being shot a wee bit. Just ding. But that's about it. That's about the height of it. Thumb meat. Thumb meat. And then I got my thumb meat rubbed in uh, Mexico on honeymoon. Right. Never mind going for a, a rubbing tug, happy ending. <laughs> Pay someone to rub that, that bit of your hand there. Uh. <laughs> Ropes. I'm telling you. It's a Wait, rat. what was the actual? Well, me, me and Maury went for a couple's massage and uh, we, you lie beside each other and people rub your back and rub your shoulders and all and then she goes down your arm and then she starts rubbing your hand. And I was like, man, am I bricked up or what? Yeah. So nice. That's what I tell you. Any massage, you like, bricked I, I, up. I feel, I feel like I'm like, you shouldn't be doing this in front of my wife. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, God. Getting intimate with a thumb, mate? Yeah. Like you could add it to the list of pleasurable things. You know, you know why people always joke like if you're shitting and getting sucked off and you've got cotton buds in your ears and yeah. someone's rubbing your th- your thumb, mate. Nah, it's too much for the human you, mind. You bust yourself to death. Yeah. <laughs> You'd implode like a fucking submarine. Just... Speaking of implode. <laughs> Bruh. See that? 
<laughs> Secret bottles? Did you, ever, did you follow that page on Instagram? No. Secret bottles? <laughs> Secret bottles? It's just like a bunch of, a bunch of shit. A bunch of shit. A bunch of shit that looks like assholes. What's your favorite one? What a weird question. I don't know. There's fucking loads of them. What's your favorite secret asshole? Look it up on, a, on Instagram there. Secret ass. Secret bottles. <laughs> secret ass. A Sherlock account. That was a Freudian slip there. Oh, secret assholes by Colin. <laughs> There's nothing secret about the assholes in your Instagram. Your asshole Straight wouldn't up. look like that. No, you can't. My asshole's on a secret. No. <laughs> Be 4th of July, but it would look like a fucking load of helium balloons. It's like a secret gift to a gay man. Everyone knows about it. <laughs> My secret. name's DeMarco. Do you know what I mean? The whole, I, the whole page. <laughs> no, fucking it's, bricked up. Uh, oh yeah, it's got me fucking ready to bust over here. Got the two handles for fucking. That big guy very like with a hole. Oh, hello, no, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like someone just pressed it up again. The here, perfect see, spread. <laughs> <laughs> see that shit there? Yeah. Betty Crocker's fucking uh, icing. Mm -hmm. Cake icing. I watched one of these. You know one of those shows like Secret Eaters? Uh-huh. Sorry. Bruh, what is that? Smoothie? I should call her. I should call her. Uh fuck you. Have you ever been out with anyone with her asshole? Was that uh memorable? The asshole? You're like, God damn, no, miss that asshole. The <laughs> Not the asshole per se, no. The cheeks? The cheeks, yeah. No, get those cheek memories. Yeah. Um <laughs> Oh, I was watching this this show. This show with this you know, these all these fuck are like secret eating and they put all their food on the table this girl was like you know they're like explain you know tell us what you eat in a day and she was like well wake up and it's always you know the, the day's off their bad start when they're eating like you know she'll be like oh just make like a couple of burgers for bread you know like what mm, too much she's like frying burgers in the morning have a couple of breakfast burgers with an egg in it and then it just <laughs> gets you know bad the worst she's eating like such a pile of shit for lunch and then snacks all day and it gets home. She's like, I just, I, you know, if I've had a rough day, I just need a Chinese. But of course, I mean, I relate. You relate a bit, but you know, this, this girl had like fucking 16 trays in front of her. Um, and then she, as a snack, she just sit with a pot of that, like icing for the top of a cake and just eat it with a fucking spoon. Oh, that's mad now. That's bro, mad. Bro, where's your tea? There's a reason why it's like, you know, thinly put out on a full cake. Like you shouldn't be having, icing's too much to have a fucking bowl of it. Do you ever make a cake? <laughs> no. You, have you, did you ever make a cake now? Uh, yeah. You be, how, much, candy how much shite? <laughs> He's on fucking secret bottles. <laughs> Thumb on one eye. I don't think it of them also. Uh, you should, like, when you see how they might have shite goes into a cake, like. Yeah. Like, a t ton of sugar, tons of oil, just loads of shite, like. Yeah, brownies are really bad. Brownies are hectic, that's why they're like so... Yeah. I have to take or leave a brownie. I mean, that's why you ejaculate in your pants when you have a brownie. You think like a good one. You take a bite into it. And you're just like, Argh! I I, lo I prefer a good birthday cake. I can see a proper, well made cake. Bless. Yeah. <laughs> you got that Kramer head. <laughs> 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 Say the N word. Do the bit. Fluff it up, boy. <laughs> Come running into into the shop. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> What's that movie? <laughs> fucking. What's that David Lynch movie? With the fucking. There's like a famous like image of the guy's got the big fat hair like that. Let's do something stupid with your hair. What can we do? I don't know. Get a mullet. Something that doesn't, you know, piss off any cultures or anything. Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> really? Yeah. What are we going to get? Just dreadlocks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you, if you had dreadlocks. Oh, the dread, all right. Cornrows would be fucking 10 out of 10. I don't know. Like, I remember one time wanting to switch up my hair. Um, and anytime I have, the barber just cuts it the exact same anyway. Is that a thing where people take in pictures of people that they want their hair to look like and the barber will do that? Yeah. I told you about the place that I lived beside in LA where it was like, LA everywhere it was like $40 to get a haircut. And there was this one Asian lady yeah. did it for $10. Yeah. And you walk in, she couldn't speak a word of English. And she would just have a catalog of hairstyles and she'd go point at the one you want. Who was on the page? Ronaldo? I threw my thumb down in Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Came out fucking looking like shit. Brad Armpit. <laughs> Absolutely rotten. Brad Pitt in what, though? It was like, his hair was like, slicked over a wee bit. Uh, it was nice. Fury. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's the picture, him on the tank and all. Like. 
But I remember then going back to my barber in Oma and him being like, who the fuck cut your hair, lad? And I was like, oh, I was just some other for cheap. And he goes, oh, she's fucking vended in the shy, lad. You have a good fuck head of hair, lad. Don't go back to that. You sexy bastard, you. <laughs> best, best head of hair in the country. Best head of hair. <laughs> they handed a big game your barber. You know? Yeah, get that free cut. Oh, I. Unless they just kiss you in the neck a few times. Number two back in sides. <sighs> and then there's a haircut. Oh. <laughs> You do have good hair, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'm scared of like losing it. I've I'm I'm decided too that I'm gonna start actually doing things that I've never thought about, but I feel like I probably should think about. My friend Judy has me on a skincare routine now. Nice. Yeah. What does she do? The na- she sent me a link to some shade that has SPF in it. Mm-hmm. So there's an AM and a PM one, Crava or something. So I'm gonna start applying that every day. You do need, you need to, be, like even the other day at that festival, mm-hmm. you go crispy immediately. Oh yeah. Some of the shit. Like you're talking to a bunch of lads and uh, shout out to your man, forget his name. I don't even know if I got his name. The guy with the fuck, he like lost his voice and the guy's ginger is all fuck. You know, he's like fucking pesh the ready. He's got the weed vape and he's on the fucking powder in the border loose, which he was not discreet about at all. He would, yeah. come, he would come out with it like, ha ah, ha, I just finished my cocaine. <laughs> oh, dear. But this guy was, he was ginger. Like, now you're like a rustic, like kind of, you know, sexy ginger. This guy was like, it looked like it hurt him. He's the, he's, he's <laughs> the, he's, he's the Auburn reptile. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this guy was, I was like, man, you have a long day. You're Like, I can't wait for your tomorrow morning. Oh yeah. When he's like, I'm ready, shit, feel sorry, man. I lost my voice and I'm on the weed vapes and I'm fucking pissed already and I'm doing a load of gear. He like, was burning bro. up. His forehead looked like bacon fries. I tell you what he need the next day, Baraka. Yeah. He need a ton of Barakas snorting them. Festivals are one of those things where it's like, you know, it is great crack and if you haven't been to one for a long time, the idea of it is lethal, but the reality of it by day three is fucking abysmal. There was a beautiful moment when, uh, so you were sort of preparing to go on McCarney went for chips and spring rolls and he came back and uh, these women, they were women, like they were f- 45 probably, came up, a couple of MILFs like, one of them was real, real porn star looking, big fake tees and all, and uh, she came up and one of, one of the girls, she was just like fucking steaming, talking to everybody, she's like, mm-hmm. so Felix, where are you from and all, and I was like, oh, whatever, and McCarney just would not look up from these chips like, yeah. And she was like, are you a comedian as well? And he's like, oh, here, listen, fuck off. Yeah. They had these chips. Never seen more disinterest than a man ever. Yeah, I mean, have you got a thing of spring rolls in front of you, like, to be fair? But he could have had himself a, a fucking milfy three-way. <laughs> you know? No. That's a hungry, that's a hungry woman there. What? The 45-year-old at a fucking festival. Oh, yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ. Yeah. She's anyone's. Reliving the youth. Reliving the youth. Looking to get in that fountain of youth. Taking all that spare dong. Festival riding. Risky. Day one festival riding. Dead on. Aye. Day three, you'll catch something. Day three. Can't even face each other. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you facing away. There was crabs in that tent. For yeah. sure. There was crabs in that tent. Probably scooting about like. Yeah. I saw a girl walking around with like like white trousers and then she had the proper like Christina Aguilera whale tail thong like deliberately away up over it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, that'll be in the bin. Yeah. You're taking that straight off. I know there's a tire that, you know, you get away with at a festival that you wouldn't get away with anywhere else. I saw a guy, probably about the same build as me, in dungarees, tits out. I was like, respect that guy. Tits coming out the side? Tits out the side, pink. Pink? Yeah. Like two chameleon's eyes? Yeah, drumstick squashy tits just banging out the side of these dungarees. I was like, fucking respect you, brother. Fair play, then. That's it, confidence. Yeah. That's what people like more than anything. Just full confidence. That's all it is. Shout out to the people who basically do the the festival circuit and you know those weirdos in the corner like you're like is this a shop or what are you sell anything performance they're like, piece they're like no i just come here with all my shite yeah and think you put a gramophone on and like take acid oh it's like that bell bird but where he's like it's a table of shit <laughs> yeah. yeah you wouldn't buy it anywhere else but because you're in a field and you've had five hineys faded off the hineys faded off the hineys you're like i'll buy a prayer blanket <laughs> <laughs> no boy those fucking like woven hoodies yeah you know them fucking like you know oh so wank again w- if you're on that outside of a field you white, know, like guy, a fucking- white guy with dreadlocks hoodie oh you know yeah that fucking thing and th- what is it with them you know them big massive fucking like uh what would you call them now the shit that people would hang up in their rooms oh like a wall hang- yeah like a big bit of cloth yeah 
Yeah. I remember seeing a meme one time and I was like, if you go into a girl's room and she's got this and all, you about to get the soul sucked out of you. <laughs> <laughs> BTGB, Big yeah. Titty Golf Bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all them witchy girls. Yeah. You know? It's the go-to OnlyFans background. Yeah. I've been to Thailand. <laughs> got a yin yang on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also how Dave McSavage dresses. <laughs> oh yeah, and he takes it off the wall and puts it around him. He looks like he's been walking. <laughs> Look, Savage is the man, but he does look like a slam pole. <laughs> La- Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> I mean, just fucking. He's, ca- he's just caught. Ca- he's like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like an old merchant that would like walk yeah. through the desert and yeah. then sell his wares. Yeah, he looks like he rides would his material you, with a feather of ink on it. Would you like a quill? <laughs> <laughs> would you. <laughs> It's like an old silk trader, you know. <laughs> Could I interest you in a wall hanging? <laughs> Very funny, though. Yeah, he does dress like a mad bastard, like. Yeah, but again, confidence. He has a look. He oh, sticks yeah. to it. That's it. I That's mean, all the, you need. the man will be wearing, you know, he'd be wearing like, you know, a denim shirt and then like a leather jacket and then a waistcoat over the leather jacket, mm. you know. And then a fucking, you know, like a throw you'd put at the bottom of your bed <laughs> around his neck. I'm just jealous that he can wear that many layers and not look like a sweaty pig. Yeah. You know, I put a shirt on over a t-shirt, I'm fucked. I think at a certain age, you just stop sweating. I'm Karen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he, he, get, he gets he gets some amount of groupies, though. Oh, I. We had a weird, he came over and chatted to us, and they, some fella come up and was just like, 1996. And it was earlier than that, it was like, 1986. Fucking Leicester Square. <laughs> you were busking outside. The sun was going down. Like it was like he was reading a poem to him. Yeah. And he was just sitting there with a big vape in his hand, like You know, like, uh-huh. I don't remember. <laughs> he just shut some down. Does he like I would have to play along. Yeah. And be like, oh yeah, those were the days and all. And he's like, no, no recollection of whatsoever. <laughs> Off you fuck. Good lad. He's the man. I want to show you this here real quick. I'll never forget that gig and crack down when he walked off and everyone, give it up for David McSavage. And he went, that was fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> 10 out of 10. What's this? We enjoy a bit of this now in the podcast. We've played this before, <laughs> but you know, it's good to see it live in the main stage like this. So Westwood? Oh, Romantic. Oh, and then back to the Dotty. Dotty yeah, Wayne. Yeah. Still bald pervert with his phone out. The, the progression of it is mad because it starts off like standard what is, what grinding. Is, what, what gig is that? I don't know. It's in Spanish. I'll fucking know this. <laughs> I wish your man by Bruno Mars over top of it, but it starts off like quite innocent grinding and then progresses into the Dudley Brothers. Yeah. The fucking, the cock must be smashed off you. Oh yeah. By the end of it? It's like you fall on like just jumps on his deck. Is there is there a way to do that where you are kind of like oh no this is just what we do you pawn the club yeah <laughs> or is this a like you know a pre a preload to like we're actually gonna fuck or yeah. or can you just do it with like twenty women a night and be like this is a good crack yeah <coughs> now if they pull you out of the audience and you're with your girlfriend would you get in trouble because is that he, like he's a not a boy out of, out of the audience was he the guy that was getting the, the doll that was like blasting her shock yeah. In and out of that fellow's face. Yeah, I think they pulled him from the audience. But why has he got the same outfit on as her? No, the guy, the second guy. Oh my God, I didn't see the second guy. <clears throat> but um, also, you haven't watched The Idol yet, no? no? Have you watched The Idol, man? No. So it's a new HBO show and it's uh, leaked. Yeah! It is absolutely doused in controversy at the minute because I think there was a thing where like a female writer left the show... Because I think The weekend and the guy who made Euphoria. <laughs> now, Euphoria, if you've seen that. What's is, The weekend's real name? Is it Aubrey? <laughs> Martin Weekend? <laughs> it's like, Euphoria is just like tits all the time. Every scene has tits. Every scene, right? So the same guy comes into this show, tits all the place. Johnny Depp's daughter, I've seen, I'm sick looking at her tits. I've watched five hours of it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? But The weekend. I've never seen Johnny Depp's daughter. Was like... Uh, Sounds pervy, but she's probably 40, is she? No, not even. Um, but The weekend was cast in this, and, you know, like, if you're a if you're a public figure and you get offered an acting role, you kind of have to think a wee bit about the dialogue that you're going to be saying and stuff like this. There is not enough money that could be paid to me to say any of this dialogue that he's about to do right now. So this is just dirty talk, right? Oh, yeah. 
but listen so again the weekend he makes sexy music you know he makes like haunted strip club kind of music and uh very mysterious doesn't speak that much and now i feel like all the mystique is gone listen to my cam here fucking review you music see what I'm looking What's for the guardian how beautiful you look now the doll's got a kimono there mm. that he sliced with a knife and put around her eyes too much too much admin i got trained has she got the tits out there? Fat tongue. <laughs> My fat tongue. I'm gonna grab you by the ass while I suffocate you with my cock. I want you to choke on it. Oh yeah, just like that, babe. Turn around for me, babe. You can make me come over there, baby. Oof. You can make me act the fool. <laughs> Up in here? <laughs> and down. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Lord. Oh, yeah. Just like that, baby. Yeah. This is the one here now. Oh, yeah. Right and right and slowly. Yeah. Put your finger down your throat. Make that, make that throat wet for me. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Turn around for me, baby. Turn around. Open your legs. Yeah. That's yes. Oh, choke on it. Yeah, choke on it. Oh, fucking stretch that tiny little. Too much. Too much. Stretch that tiny little pussy. Yeah. But he's just sitting at the other side of the room and she's faffing about with her, her eyes covered. Aye. No one brags about their tongue enough. Fat tongue. And they stick his fat fucking tongue straight up your asshole. <laughs> oh, texting someone. Oh, man, this, my tongue's rock hard for you. <laughs> Oh, my tongue's fucking wet as an otter's pocket. Broke my tooth. What did you get on my tongue? Oh, God, I'm sitting here stroking my tongue. <laughs> I've got a fucking mouth boner here. Oh, man, come with that. It's too much, you know. That's about much, that now. But it's drama. For the TV. It's drama. Is he supposed to be like a pervy music exec or something? Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. No, 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 sorry. In the show, he's like, he owns an A-club and he's got a rat tail. And uh, he essentially pumps out all these women, and then she gets she gets caught in with she gets caught in with the wrong crowd. Oh yeah, finger your throat, make your throat wet for me. My fat tongue. <laughs> now I tell you who won't be saying anything like that. Anybody with our accent. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. People from here shouldn't do dirty talk, and if they do, it can't be good. Well, actually, it probably is good to an like American. A, like, a, like a real sexy girl with a nice voice might get away with it. But yes. any fella can't be like, fucking finger your throat there, make it all wet and all. Oh, just hang a stretch out we fucking van of ears. Keep it out. Keep it out. <laughs> My tongue is fucking stiff. Fuck, I can't wait to stick my tongue, fat tongue in it. That's it. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Get out of bed, shit. Spread the hell fucking pins there, good woman. And then, oh god, so can horny. Stretch out wee fucking piss clean. <laughs> Stretch it out now. <laughs> I've cleaned the piece in the sink, so uh, you're in for, you're in for a good time, love. I'm gonna fuck the type seven out of you. <laughs> they call me the fucking bank holiday weekend. Never mind the weekend. They call me the long weekend. Huh? Cause my looter Sunday fun. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my fat looter down your throat. I'm gonna I'll bit, bit my cock off the sink. Thank you. I hope you're not in the blob. <laughs> Actually, fuck it. I don't even give a fuck. My tongue's stiff in it. My tongue won't go down. Tongue's rock hard for you. That's all the listeners soaking now. Finger, the f- finger your throat, make it wet. Yeah, bad science, bro. Yeah, uh, I'd imagine it is wet. Anyway, I'll drive route. Now the weekend, <coughs> uh, rumor has it has an absolute iguana on him. Oh, why? Yeah, he doesn't get out in the show. Probably be. Which, it'd probably be obscene. It, he's co-director, and what people are saying is, you know, why is Johnny Depp's daughter getting her tits out in every scene, and there's not one but a weekend piece? Because no one wants to see pace. It, it's just traditional. But I feel like, you know, that'd be a highly sought after dick. 
to see. Mm-hmm. You know, people would love to see the weekends piece. I think this is what it is, right? You can. Everyone loves tits. So girls love seeing tits. So tits get the tits out. Big tits, wee tits. Yes. Cardboard box, whatever. <laughs> you can get a bit of bush out, and you can do a bit of fake like love making in a scene. Yeah. And it can still look real. Mm-hmm. You have to pull out your fully erect cock. Yes. For it to be realistic in that. And I think that's where they draw the line. Yeah. Like there's a bit in um, Game of Thrones where like, what do you call fucking Lily Allen's brother? Oh, uh, Alfie? He's, he's taking the back end off some wench, right? And uh, she, <laughs> someone interrupts them and this girl goes, you no, know, that's the perfect type of woman there. That sort of medieval big milkmaiden. Yes. She's like, oh, let me get out of the room. <laughs> Tits all over the shop. And he's just immediately soft. <coughs> you know what I mean? You're like, hey, okay, give him a fucking boner. Yeah. Give him an old syphilitic boner. Uh, you can't put it on that on TV. It's too violent. It's far too violent. Like, most decks look angry. Yeah. You can't have that on TV. Tits are like... They do look better erect. Yes. You know, oh, yeah. You don't want to see an old soft pace on them. No. But that, I think that's the problem. That's why, because he, you know, he, for, number one, he's not going to pull out his, his soft pace. Mm. You know, I'm a motherfucking soft boy. <laughs> he's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. The weekend's bell end. He's going to have to fucking pull out the fucking, the cobra. Glad we solved that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do it all. Cocks, fannies, shitting. You should watch though, because it is like, it's not a good TV show, uh-huh. but it is just such a car crash to watch. That you can't take your eyes off it. Oh well. Do you get it on the And it's there? basically five hours of torture porn. So there you go. Can't, can't wait. Yeah. Do you know what I've been get watching? You in the garage. Do you know what I've been watching? What? Banador. <laughs> Here, good show. Here, talk about torture porn. <laughs> Johnny Vegas. <laughs> I know you must it. It is <laughs> do, do the weekend's dialogue with Johnny Vegas' voice. I'm gonna stick my tongue. <laughs> my fat fucking tongue in Fanny. Finger your throat, you dirty bitch. I'm gonna take me fat pipe, stretch your fanny. What is it about Johnny Vegas? His, his actual voice is just permanently like out of breath. He's fat as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no harm to him, but he's—I mean—he's absolutely hilarious. But like, you know, he's—he's he's got that fucking. <laughs> I'm not far off, and he's got that fucking just like. <gasps> what a medical diagnosis. I went to the gym today. Do you ever watch, like, uh, you know, you watch any old wrestling things, and they're all like, yeah, brother, and fucking, you know, some, oh, yeah, some 50 year old bodybuilder's like, well, the best thing to do is squats. And there's something about going to the gym and having, like, a hard, like, doing big lifts, so you're like, yeah, like, pushing your fucking neck all the time. I came in here today, I was like, I'm, I'm starving. Like, just from working out. Yeah. I was like, I can hardly talk. Yeah. That's why I want the big fat neck. Just a big fat neck. Come in here, like welcome to welcome to the podcast. Can you put a pair of headphones around your neck? And I would sit comfortably. As I mean yeah. I, there is a bit of pressure. Yeah. There's a bit of pressure there. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Uh, but you want the big fucking you know. I don't like working out in the big headphones because they do get sweaty and fall apart. Oh they do, eh? That's true. That's true. To be fair, the beats have sustained various sessions in the Stairmaster so far. But I'd be soaking after that, like. Spread your legs! <laughs> Have we any other videos in that bomb squad thing there? <clears throat> yeah. By Spe- the way, did you see, um, who was it got married there? There was like some sort of uh, politician and one of these stop stop oil people appeared. You see that? You no, know, I didn't see that. Have you seen any of those stop oil people? Oh, I, yeah. What the fuck are they doing? Is these the same people that took over the snooker? Uh, they came in the snooker, they threw some orange dust. Some fucking, what do you, I forgot the name of the politician. And uh, he was getting married and someone ran up with like orange confetti, the most gentle way to protest ever. But you're just like, what the f- what do you mean stop oil? What do you mean? Yeah. Like it, what they're, the way they act is so fucking annoying. I don't even want to know what stop oil means. Yeah. They'd be flat out in London. So they would. Yeah. Like causing traffic jams and all. Fucking dicks. Yeah. Annoying as fuck. Stop oil. I feel like there's, I mean, yes, the planet might implode, but you know what I mean? There's other, there's more urgent problems. But don't you kind of wish you had something you cared about that much? No. That you'd get out in the street like that? Well, that is something to think about. What would take? What would it take for me? I think if the old, uh, you know, social 
what do you call it? what's that term now social points or whatever the fuck it is you know like, like black mirror, black mirror <laughs> they start like fucking keeping tabs on your behavior electronically mm. and then it'll, they'll start to just monitor like social media too much and you're not you, you know you'll not be able to be a comedian basically mm-hmm. <clears throat> you can't even make a joke because you can't mention certain things yeah then i would think about going out in the street yeah but i probably to build wouldn't. up the social points but i uh, no to to protest against it all right okay yeah you know what i mean i'd say they take points off you for resisting yeah it's, i'd go the other way i'd go full prepper i'd be fucking bunker full of beans shotguns grow my own crops there is i remember remember a cult when they thought the world was gonna end 2012 there was like Jaws. websites floating about now where you could like basically cut out your bunker oh there's tons of them you know but you need the real estate for a bunker first i don't know what the fuck we do in my bungalow i got a baby <laughs> Yeah, you do. You have it with a garage. I, I got the real estate. I'll you could live in your garage. I could build a state of bunkers in my house. Yeah. That'd be good. They think the garage is your bunker. Bunkers at the bottom of the garden. Foiled. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you had to do bunker meals, what would you have? Like, if you had to have a lot of shit that you just had to eat every single day, what would it be? Let me tell you something. My, my bunker uh-huh. would be busy in yeah. the apocalypse. Yeah. Someone would be cracking up with a tin of beans going, I- I'm going around to Collins again. Yeah. You know, he's making jerky. He's making squirrel jerky. No, but you've only got the guards, so you can't cook anything. What would it, I eat every it day? It has to be like tin to can shit, yeah. Tuna. I would go for tuna, I eh? Better than John West. Tuna. Beans. John West, get you through the bunker. Someone come in there? Yeah, it's Rachel. Tell her to come on in. What are you doing? Are we recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you whisper and walk past four or three cameras. <laughs> We're role playing. Uh? We're role playing. <laughs> <laughs> Rehearsing. Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Anyway, back, back in the room. room. <laughs> back to serious. <laughs> Tuna and beans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? What else is dry that you put water on? Coast, coast. Yeah. <laughs> Like couscous get you through the bunker? It's boring as shit. Now what about you? Guan Charlie? <laughs> Tuna. Tuna all day. Oh the breath and the Brain or what? The brain? B- oh, uh, sunflower oil. Uh? <sighs> really? Yeah. I like the old brain. Nah. You're gonna t- all right, so. <laughs> R- Richie, you know that camera's on there. You're like whispering and walking past it every time. <laughs> You wait for a shade anyway. <laughs> 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 no, I would definitely, I would, I would get probably really into hunting for no reason. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd be spearing magpies and shit. Yeah, you could hunt out by your way to be fair. And by hunting, I mean walk in the next field and just knife a cow <laughs> and not kill it. And it just walks around with a knife hanging out of it forever. By hunt, I mean find the number of a local chipper. <laughs> uh, well, you live in the countryside and nothing would stop. No. The nuclear fallout, but here we're doing deliveries and goujons. Do you want an old deli dinner down around to the house? Is this a boy with the knees? Yeah. Have no. you seen this? I have. Play it again. I'm going to fucking throw up. This is the most embarrassing way to get into a fight. It's the way they give out. Takes the rucksack. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> have you been involved in a workplace injury? <laughs> See the bit, does it show in slow motion again? Does it at the end? Like no, I, it just shows the fallout. It looks like the guy had like complete, do you know like when you're the tendon? Like they're, bruh. Oh. <laughs> Drop the, it down low. Look at, the, <laughs> look at the hole in his knee, did you see the hole? <laughs> like I, he must have completely like. Oh, somebody help me. <laughs> somebody help that man, god damn it. That poor old white motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. Why don't for two to rack the knees on? Oh, you know? Jesus. The blue polo. How do you the get bucket in a, hat. How do you get in a fight at like 100 meters range? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. <laughs> I'm coming down there. It's <laughs> just the whole way down. But even to get in a fight in pub, at a public event like that is pretty mad. Like, is there even anything going on there? They're at like a baseball game, it looks like, but there's fuck all happening. That's, that's probably the Wayne's game. That's similar to Vince McMahon 
Yeah. Blowing out both the legs. I know. It's so funny. He just storms down to the ring. This is why you ha- <laughs> this, this is why you have to lift weights. Yeah. You, you hit that age where you're but you just have no muscle. But to be fair, he up until you know recently was yoked to shit. Oh no, well he was the opposite way, whereas but he probably had too much muscle for his wee seventy year old tendons. Look at these assholes, Jesus Christ. Like what do you see there? Like, sir, look at that there. Why are chains the go to look whenever you're they should look hard as fuck. Look at them Christmas dinners. I walk around with these uh, not anymore. That, in fact, see that, <laughs> see that divot. Nice chin and beans. See that divot, <laughs> that divot at the bottom. That's probably where they snapped. Man, look at that. <laughs> Fucking luminous. <laughs> Ron seal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ron seal. His head looks photoshopped and that. <laughs> oh. Shout out the roids. Give me the chains one again. Look at the back, man, like a barrel of snakes. Go to the one beside it. Look at that back. Oh, why? Being <laughs> Christmas tree. Absolutely. That's a secret butthole there. <laughs> that's a secret butt crack. <laughs> looks like you're, that's what your horse looks like. <laughs> Only without the muscle. <laughs> that's just your actual ass cheeks going that high. <laughs> <laughs> he is yoked to shit though. Look at the Google map arms in him. Oh, God. <laughs> Vinny old bastard. <laughs> There's Rachel in like a ninja. <laughs> What? I don't know. <laughs> it's a godly creep. <laughs> she make a good hit man, that woman. <laughs> as long as there's no CCTV. It is, it's very funny to walk past the camera and go, I'm Whisper. Sorry. Sorry to disturb you. Walks in front of every camera. Sorry. Excuse me. We need to get that door reinforced. We've had your sister, phone cab drivers. Everyone's uh, just knocking in here. The fucking times. landlord will be in here looking money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any other videos to watch before we get out of here? I don't know if this is funny or not. We can edit it out if it's shite, but I've seen this video of, you know, like, you know when you get to that age where you do, like, dad pranks? Yeah. You know, stuff that you're like, it's very innocent, wholesome crack. This is a video Kurt Angle put up, and, uh, you know, this man would have been a childhood hero of mine, and now it's fun to just see him eating spaghetti with his wife in the house. Yeah, can you give me another glass of milk? <laughs> yeah, has he got brain damage or what? <laughs> Honestly, probably. All them years of racing. You were <laughs> can you, can you get me? That man's done a moonsault in many a cages. He probably is. Does she eat the whole thing? Snorting a moonsault? I think so. <laughs> is this the prank that he's cutting up with scissors? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? You didn't just do that. Oh my goodness, Kurt, you cannot be that lazy. Well, well, you're calling me lazy? I want to go meddle with a broken freaking neck. Oh my goodness, if you pulled that Olympic gold medal card on me one more time, I'm not even joking. Mischievous? Horseshit! I call bullshit! Shut up, bitch! That is set up 100%. Yeah, Are you serious, eyes, babe? Married couples don't even fucking look at each other. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could be eating spaghetti with a dildo and Maureen would eat. I'd be waiting fucking 40 minutes for her to look at me to be like, spaghetti and milk's a mad combo. Oh, yeah. You know? Wouldn't it, he, he'd be in a f- port the next day. <laughs> Marinara sauce combined with the Fuck spaghetti. Fuck spaghetti, anyway. I don't mind it. Pasta's shite. Take it. <laughs> Pasta's fucking shite. You don't like carbs in general? You don't like mashed spuds? I don't like my. Ma- I mean, it's amazing that I'm such an absolute hippo of a fat bitch, but... Uh, oh, but you're a sore man on the rice. I'm a sore man on the rice, and the noodles don't take me easy way. The whole house is strung up on the rice. Uh, but don't charge me for pasta, you know what I mean? Don't be taking me to some place and being like, this is 1895, and you're like, bitch, it's not. Do you not appreciate Italian cuisine? I mean, whatever, but it's cack. Like a student could make you fucking goddamn... You know, carbonara could make you some pasta and red sauce, and then you go some other Italian restaurant. They put a basil leaf on it or oh, basil right. if you're a tard. Yeah, and then and then they're like <laughs> or American, it's, and it's like twenty quid. And yeah. it's the same shit. Yeah, you run over to the spa to get the pasta. Yeah, pack. Now, if, you know, if you're talking about him, you know, he's putting in guanciale and stuff into it. Like, but you know, <laughs> what is guanciale? We've been over this. <laughs> it's cured fucking pig cheek. <laughs> Pay attention, will you? Cured pig cheek. Where are you even getting that? But spaghetti can eat my hole. Uh, yeah, it's bullshit. 
Least favorite cuisine would it be Italian? It's just if, yeah, uh, pasta is my last. Uh, pasta is my bunker meal. Really? When there's nothing left on earth, and I'm like, suppose I'll eat it. No, I like pasta. Well, that's like great. We've got a pesto. We've cleared that up. He likes pasta. <laughs> What'd you have for lunch, sir? Paella? <laughs> yeah, I did. With chorizo and chicken. I know it's probably paella, but here, just say paella. Paella. Because you're in West Belfast, you know? Yeah. Abitha. <laughs> chorizo. <laughs> Dylan Osborne said chorizo with no irony whatsoever. There chorizo. Right chorizo. Chorizo. Um, although people do say Ibiza a lot, going to Ibiza, and then I, I heard some guy in a co- an English guy in a conversation once. He's like, "Yeah," and then we went to Ibiza. No, and I don't think like, I, I make your deck soft. I think we know. Yeah, that it's Ibiza. No, just say Ibiza. I was in Ibiza getting some chorizo. You came back from and Vietnam. I was like, Shut up, you th- bastard. <laughs> You came back from Vietnam and auto-corrected me on how I said foe. You're like, I just pronounced foe. I can't not say it twice now. Yeah. I'd be like, do you want a bowl of pho? Or pho, <laughs> if you didn't know what I was saying there. <laughs> it is yeah. pho. It is pho. It was never pho. No. Never. Here you go. He has what, spoken! What some fucking parts on those. I, fu- fucking <laughs> getting tag teamed by two nerds. <laughs> two cuisine nerds. Cuisine the nerds. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear what else have you got for me or are we getting out of here that's it sir that's me uh, we're all over, we're away on over to the patreon to answer some motherfucking questions if you want to submit questions to the podcast yeah get yourself on to the patreon how long do we do there now my head splitting too uh one hour five there one we go. hour five jesus christ six of them taken up by my sister walking in here yeah worst hitman <laughs> of all time excuse me leave it in Leave it in. Leave it oh, in. We'll leave it all in. What do you think this is? GMTV? Yeah. <laughs> leave it in. Across the board. Leave Absolutely. it in the episode. Leave it in her. <laughs> Quote of the century from Woodsy. He's talking with some girl. He's like, oh, just say, let it rot inside her. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cut that out. He's like, he's like, how's your six-month-old baby? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sir. No, oh, sir. Yeah, direct. That's what happens when you let it rot inside someone. <laughs> Give a win. Shout out Woodsy. <laughs> Shout out Woodsy. Um, yeah, Shout out you guys. Get on the Patreon. Uh, cheers, coming out the live podcast. All the good stuff. Have you any gigs to promote? No, not at all. Get yourself onto something. My Instagram. Or very shortly, call and get probably when you when you come to hear this, call and guess.com. Oh, nice. Get yourself an, get yourself an old uh, ticket for the. SSA, I do believe. And uh, are we allowed to talk about our big announcement yet? Or will we wait? There will be a big announcement. Dun-dun. What do you think now that you say? Uh, <coughs> what about if we announce in the Patreon? It probably will be announced by the time this comes out. Yeah, it'll be announced on Patreon. Outside. We're going to do a big live podcast. <laughs> what? Soundboard? <laughs> this is the guy from the Police Academy. <laughs> We're doing it in the her front hall. <laughs> Real bad man. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Shut up. We're doing a pig podcast. Fuck it. Yeah. Out of the frying pan, we're we're running before we can walk. But sure, that's, that's what we do around here. We can we can't walk or run. So uh, we're we're diving straight in there. But yeah, excited about that. That will be early September. Exciting. No. Right. And that's it. Leave them with a beautiful message, Aaron. Guys, thanks so much for listening to this podcast, you know, and I hope to God that you're having a good week. You know, Mondays are tough, but here, be no time to Friday's back, and it's back on the weekend. <laughs> Stretch that person. And then you'll get you'll get uh, you'll get nervous because it's getting close to Monday. Uh, the yeah. Sunday fear. And you'll not be able to enjoy the Saturday because the Monday's coming up. Yeah. And then, sure enough, it'll be Monday. Yeah. And uh, it'll be a nightmare again. Um, what is time? Anyway, see you next week. Good luck. I'm gonna piss myself. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I can hardly walk. Drop, 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 drop.